Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how you can import your own 3D models from Blender to No Limits 2, such as this large concrete thingy around that I've put around my coaster. Alright guys, so I'm here in Blender, I have my 3D model that I would like to import to No Limits 2 right here. There's a few things we need to do to it before we can import it into Blender though. One of those things is to make sure we have it UV unwrapped. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's plenty of tutorials out there that show you how. Another thing you're going to need to do is make sure that each object has a material. So I have two different materials on these two different objects because I want this, this little cube path to be a different material from the large big concrete block that surrounds my coaster. If you wanted them both to be concrete or both of them to be whatever, any material, then just set them as the same material in Blender, and then it will show as the same material. Okay. So, to export our 3D model here into No Limits 2, we're going to want to get a file, and then export, and then do it as Collada Default, the first option here in Blender 2.83, which I have up. And then just name it anything you want, and export it. Now, if I go into No, no Limits 2, and I'll do SEO editor and the scenery tab at the top. We're gonna basically, I mean, you could go back to general, then we're gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call mine um, that. You can name yours whatever you want. And then you just go through the thing, you find your 3D model. Mine, I named it bigconk.dae and open. And now it will have loaded your mesh up into here. Basically, you can ignore the other tabs here. Go to materials and here you'll see any materials you added to your 3D model. I have two. I'm going to start with my second material because I already created it earlier. And it's basically just a concrete texture. So I'm going to go ahead and set that into material number two. For material one, I'm going to show you how to create your own material. So open up the NL2 matte editor right below the SEO editor on the left. Open it up and new. Name it anything you want. I'm going to call mine plaster one. Once again, you can pretty much ignore all, all the tabs except for textures. Go to textures and, and then we'll set it up later. But first thing I need to do is I'm going to go into my park file and I've downloaded this painted plaster texture online. What you're going to want to do is take the color and the displacement and drag and drop them into your park folder. And back in the limits 2, under texture unit 0, set up and to go to 2D file and then the three dots and load it up. Find your texture, mine's painted plaster 012 2K color, OK, and then OK. Then check for texture unit 1 and do the same thing. Except this time you're going to grab the displacement of the texture. Now this one you'll need to also go in here and go to bump mode using height map. Make sure it's not normal map unless if you're using a normal map. But if you're doing it exactly as I am, use height map here and then you can leave the height scale as it is. And then save your file. You can probably close this. And then go in back into your SEO, NL2 SEO editor from your first material or my material that I want to be that plaster I'm gonna go ahead and find my park file and find the material I just made and there we go save it and now I'm gonna go choose and here it is here's the file I just made and I'm gonna go ahead and place it in now so I'm gonna go ahead and double double click on this object and scale it down to about half there we go. Now I can just go ahead and line it up. This looks about good. And then you may need to change the height because if you can tell, this is a very large gap here. Same with here. The floor here is the same height as the uh, walls on this exit path. So we're just going to go down there and just, you know, you can use 
it navigates around the world just like any other scenery. One thing you may notice is if I come over here to my cube path using the material I just made, besides the fact that there is a support pole, you'll notice that the texture is really enlarged and super big and not very pretty and you can see that's like supposed to be some little imperfection and it's very large and taking up most of the height of the wall there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my NL2 matte editor, open up my material, which was plaster one, sure texture unit zero setup, and then we're going to go to TC mod and then check mod stage one and then click setup and then select the scale option. And I'm going to scale mine up to about 20 and that's okay. And then go to texture unit one and then do the exact same thing scale 20 20 and oops and make sure you do uh you put the your scale factor in by the factor s and the factor t otherwise it will be weird and then okay okay and then click save and then make sure you've clicked on your custom 3d object in the background and click reload now see now the texture is scaled nicely along our object here and you can see they're just not any huge and blown up like imperfections it's all nicely scaled along our object if you do happen to get some weird errors with your 3d model which some of the faces are interesting and like kind of see-through like i was having some issues with that with this general side of the big concrete thingy then you're in blender go in and add a solidify modifier and then just set the thickness to zero and then re-export it and then just once you reload the scenery it should fix your issue anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video today as you can see our scenery that we made turned out very nicely except for that this support i'll fix that and then we now have this nice cute extra wall that will bring all the passengers from the previous concrete over to the actual station entrance. And we also have this large concrete area out here that's just open and will probably end up being filled with other things by the time this ride is done. There goes the roller coaster and that's going to do it. See you all next time.